In 2021, Oresco started a new chapter with our flagship product, Oresco Field Service. Learn how you can utilize the power, powerful set of tools for field service, operations, and asset maintenance. Find out how these features adapt to a wide range of use cases and create your own vertical solution. And see what's in store for the roadmap for 2022. Let me first introduce our domain expert guests, Dominique Weiss and Johan Frank, from the company Field Service in Motion. With their unique and in-depth knowledge of the industry, they empower field service companies to maximize their potential through digital transformation. Today, they will share with us the five most important points to consider for a successful FSM implementation. So before we dig in, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and the company Field Service in Motion. Hello to everybody. Hello everybody. Pleased to be on stage to, for you today. So first of all, thank you for welcoming us today. Uh, we are very pleased to be invited and to explain what we are doing. So I am Dominique Vaz. I'm the CEO of the company Field Service in Motion. Uh, Field Service in Motion is a company that we have created two years ago. And um, basically we, uh, we are doing two stuff. Uh, we have really a niche consulting company. We are doing two stuff. So we are helping field service organization uh, to assess the performance of the, the, the business. So we really identify what are the strengths, what are the weakness of the business. And uh, we are proposing some business case for digitalization. And then as a second step, uh, we are also accompanying companies in the field service digitalization project. Uh, so we have many customers in Europe and in the Benelux. Uh, we, uh, we have so far um, influenced the way of working of more than 30 dozen technicians in the world. And uh, we are servicing, let's say, 1,500 companies. And um, we, we keep growing in really in a, in a fast, in a, in a really quickly uh, way, because uh, I think we are really filling a gap in the market. Hello. Um, I'm, as I said to you, I'm Frank. I have 22 years of experience um, in several different uh, roles, uh, I've been uh, starting as a business analyst, moved into a business relationship manager, deployment manager, uh, solution architecting role to enterprise architecture, and finalizing uh, as an um, ME Alatum uh, delivery leader, where we have, where I have been in touch with with, with um, multiple uh, software applications, uh, touching around 5,000 technicians across 45 different countries worldwide. Uh, what I feel that uh, field service in motion can bring is really filling in that gap between the consumer and, and the integrator um, based on my experience from the last 22 years where I have really felt that uh, the, the consumers were always telling what they want but it was not easy to translate it towards um, to the integrator. So that was really the missing gap uh, between um, the consumer and the integrator where I feel there is a, a big need uh, to, to, to fulfill there. And this is where uh, our company is filling the gap. So we are really the third partner uh, between a customer or a service director willing to digitalize uh, the, its operation and uh, a FSM provider, an integrator. Um, and so we are really making sure uh, to ensure smooth rollout and smooth development of this kind of projects. So the experts in your company, Field Service in Motion, have accumulated a lot of hands-on experience helping transform and digitalize field service organizations across Europe and the globe. How would you then summarize the five most important points to consider for a successful FSM implementation? This is a good question and uh, we will try to share and to summarize uh, some best practice in the area. So as a first best practice out of the five that we are going to, to present, uh, so a first best practice for a successful uh, field service management implementation, we really advise your field service organization to consider this kind of project as a business transformation project and not as an IT driven project. I think it's uh, very important that we act as one team, IT and business together. Um, 
to make sure that the business journey is benefiting from all the savings uh, that, that and, and business value that this implementation can bring. Uh, just don't replicate your as this business processes uh, into your to be processes, but make sure that that you are getting challenged, that you are open for a change. Um, clarify and align your business strategies together with your uh, architecture uh, departments to make sure that both um, strategies are aligned and, and you have a common uh, roadmap to go to. As a second best practice for a successful rollout, we advise you to select the right platform. Not one platform is the same. Each application has its adva advantages and disadvantages. Um, one can suit your business process much better than the other one. It really depends on how and which KPIs you want to measure and, and translate into your application. Um, for example, high transactional business versus um, lower uh, transactional business. Um, route optimization scheduling versus uh, semi-automated uh, scheduling uh, based on, on skills, based on uh, the availability of your technicians. So all that, um, all, all these type of questions needs to be answered before we can really um, think about the right platform for you as a customer. It is then really about um, performing an assessment of your organization prior to start. We strongly advise you to run um, an assessment of your current performance to see what is working well in your organization, what needs to be improved. Uh, out of that, you will make a business case. You will present a business case to your top management. Uh, you will defend your business case. And when, once your business case is clear, once your vision is clear, you will deduct feature that you will ask the FSM provider to support. So you see from an assessment to a business case to feature, this is the, the way we strongly advise you to, to run this kind of project. As a last word for, for this uh, topic, we also would like to say that selecting the platform uh, and selecting the integrator that will help you implement the, this platform is 20% of the work. The 80 remaining um, work for, for, for the implementation is about the, the change management, the business process implementation, the discussion with your union, the discussion uh, with all the person in your organization that will be affected. So what would you see as the third best practice for a successful FSM implementation? As a third best practice, we always advise our customer to really involve the technician from the day one of the project. You all know that uh, having a happy technician is the success of your company. If your technician are happy, if the, your technician has the right device, has the right process uh, to apply on the field, your customer will feel it. On the contrary, if your technician are not happy, if they are really frustrated with the digital solution that they need to handle every day, it will really uh, bring a bad uh, mood uh, on the field. Your customer will see it and even if you don't pay enough attention to your technician, it might even lead to strike. So we again advise to listen to your technician, to listen to how many clicks in the application they should do, to listen how they, you could improve the, the mobile app so that it's easier for them uh, to run their job. Some technicians are more tech savvy than others. Some requires a lot of support and assistance to make sure that they get acquainted with the mobile app. Put them in the center and really listen to them what they have to say because they are on the ground on the field. Make sure that they are onboarded and, and give them the opportunity to test the mobile application during with real life uh, examples where they can really play and test uh, the system and, and give you feedback on how good or on how bad uh, we are performing with, with the solution. They are the drivers of your, of your company. And, and they can make the success of, of a field service implementation. As a fourth best practice, we consider, or we advise you to consider the culture of a country before thinking about a pilot or a, a rollout uh, implementation of, of, of the field service application. We have been involved in many international rollouts where we clearly see the different cultures, languages, um, multi-currencies, 
legal issues, work council related uh, topics that needs to be addressed. All this can have a very big impact to your field service implementation. Take the right choice for an MVP. Where to go to first? Uh, maybe you have countries who are more happy to have half of a system working with the happy flow and the exceptions coming in later. Make this part of your roadmap. Um, you have other countries where you have one, where they want 100% of the application to be ready. So it's better not to choose for them first, but first go to the, to the under and then build on top and grow with, with the templates going forward. So it's all about a speed of execution. Uh, when you invest in such a project, uh, you will put quite a lot of money on the table and you need to ensure that you have the best uh, rollout sequence by selecting the best pilot and then which one come next. Uh, so it's really important to do it, uh, to do it like this. Uh, and knowing as well that it's important as well if you have a, a multi, uh, a global rollout, so you will cover a lot of countries. So you should really try to get common process built in the platform. But common process, the common trunk should represent something like 80, 90 percent uh, of the, 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 the full picture. But you should allow still a bit of flexibility, let's say 10, 15 percent, to uh, accept, to develop some uh, local features that are extremely important depending on the culture of the country. And finally, what would you see as the fifth and last best practice to share with the audience? As a fifth best practice uh, for a successful rollout, uh, what, we, what we would like to advise is about involving the right partner to challenge and to raise your ambition and to guide you uh, with your IT provider. We know that um, this kind of project comes in every company every 10 to 15 years. So we also know that in your company, you don't have the knowledge uh, to really tackle this kind of project. You are not used to that. You don't have the project manager. You don't have the, the change manager. Uh, you need to be challenged uh, by uh, some external partner to make sure that you are not, uh, let's say, losing some uh, hidden benefits out of this kind of uh, rollout. So we noticed that companies are struggling a lot with the agile way of working. They still have this uh, waterfall approach mentality whereby they feel that all the processes should be covered in an application directly before going live into a country. Be happy with an MVP whereby the creation of a work order up to the invoicing will work and make sure that on your roadmap you will deal with the exception processes later. Um, you can then better follow up on the, on the happy flow making sure that that works and then focus on the, on the additional processes later. Select the right partner who can establish this roadmap for you and translate this to the vendor so that it becomes a success story for all parties. So to conclude for um, this uh, last best practice that we would like to share, uh, involve an external partner. This partner will help you uh, identifying the, the hidden benefits this partner will also share with you the best practice, the do and the don't in this kind of project. Really want to thank you for all your attention today. Same for me, thank you for your attendance. And uh, we really wish you a successful field service digitalization project. We're now coming to the end of this session. Thank you, Dominique and Johan, for sharing the profound insights from your year's worth of experience. Now, I would like to invite on stage our product manager, Edo Kessely, who will reveal more about the key functionalities and benefits of Resco Field Service. And don't forget to use Slido for your questions. You all know Resco is a key player in mobility. You know the story as well. Mobile CRM is being used by thousands of satisfied Microsoft Dynamics users all over the world for many years. And two years ago, we introduced Resco Inspections. With Resco Inspections, we started to write a new journey and build product based on a great Resco Cloud technology. It was an amazing experience. It helped us to create one of the most advanced digital tools called Questionnaire Designer, 
providing you with all you need to create perfect questionnaires for any use case. Today, Inspections is helping our and your customers to get rid of paper, to digitize their process, to reduce their carbon footprint and become even more effective business. It's being used by more than 100 companies all over the world with more than 10,000 licenses. Well, it's a great success, but Inspections taught us something else. We asked customers who wanted to digitize the data one simple question, which was, how are you managing your field service processes? Well, simple question asked, but complex answer received. So we looked at the process and it looked like this. So everything um, starts with demand for work, whether it's inspection, repair or installation. These demands need to be processed prioritized and planned consequently. And field workers, of course, need to know what they need to do, where they need to go, and how they need to do the job. And finally, the process ends with the controlling what has been done and reporting or invoicing to the customers. By identification of the process, many problems have been outlined by our customers. I can name just a couple of them. I need to communicate with my customers, so basically they need to engage with their customers, give them more visibility. Or I cannot manage and prioritize customers' requests now. They want to prioritize what was really important. Or I cannot create and manage repeating maintenance for my assets. So they want to have their assets such as wind turbines or manufacturing machinery constantly up and running with no faults. So basically, customers are looking for a solution to cover the whole maintenance and operation processes in the field. Inspection is amazing solution for digital questionnaires and mobility for the field workers and can cover the field service process partially. And that was not enough. We listened to the customer needs and we have the answer for that. So let me show you. Hey, I'm Mike. I work as a manager in a company with a large team of field workers. I found a perfect tool that makes my work much easier. Resco.FieldService is a job execution software for operations and maintenance. It's a reliable and flexible solution for everyone involved in the field. Let me show you how it helps. I can easily organize my assets and get a perfect overview of related tasks, technicians, and job history. Creating, scheduling, and tracking work orders has never been easier. It also helps me choose the best person for any task. With Resco.FieldService, everyone knows what's next. I've prepared maintenance plans for my assets and new work orders will be created automatically. I always know what's happening because I get real-time updates from the field. Thanks to alerts, I can respond immediately when an incident occurs. Customers connect with us through a client portal. They use it to raise tickets, view job history, or simply get in touch with my staff. I turned every form, report, or checklist digital. With a powerful questionnaire and report designer tool, it was just a matter of minutes. My field workers use the app to receive work orders, collect data, perform inspections, and create reports. It even optimizes the best route for them. Resco Field Service, the perfect end-to-end -end job execution tool for every mission in the field. Resco Field Service. Everything in the field, now under your control. Our answer is Resco Field Service. We expanded the portfolio and released the brand new product. With Resco Field Service, we created even more versatile solution that can be utilized basically for any single use case related to the maintenance and operation scenarios. I can name, for example, performing regular maintenance of the wind turbines, fixing failures of elevators, or running inspections um, of machines, you just name it. So what is Resco Field Service about? The core of Resco Field Service consists of the best you know from the Resco inspections and other Resco products, such as powerful questionnaire designer tool with more than 20 different question types, images, signature capturing, QR code scanning, or even rules and with many, many more, you can create customized questionnaires or checklists really easily. 
Then there is a mobile report with legally binding signatures thanks to the DocuSign integration, which can be used as an invoice or service report. Uh, simple schedule board is the next one, which helps you to visualize availability of the resources. It even validates various conditions for selection of the best technician and helps you to increase efficiency of the resources so you can do more in a more smart, smart way. Customizable dashboards to show you what really matters for making decisions. Route planning allows users or the managers to find most optimal way for the service location. And finally, legendary mobile application empowering technicians with the best mobility on the market. So it, it, it's available and it's able to capture time and work in the field, provide work instructions, create reports, or it's even fully functional in the offline environment. So of course, everything is fully customizable. But with the introduction of the field service, the possibilities became even greater than ever. So you can elevate digital solutions not only to run questionnaires. RESCO field service is the best friend with the work orders. They can be processed and managed easily. We bring the functionality of managing preventive maintenance based on time or usage of the serviceable asset. It can display complex hierarchies, which is highly necessary for maintenance and operation scenarios. There is also the new module for incidents and, man and ticket management with real-time notifications and refreshing of the, of the boards. With easy to create customer portal, companies can engage with their customers, clients, partners, technicians in a smart way and provide them the tool to submit uh, the request or to see what's really going on. So possibilities can be endless. All these functionalities lead to the bigger customer satisfaction at the end. So in general, companies would like to increase their profit margins giving them the ability to create work with templates, tasks, reports, invoices, plans, or approve even completed work is definitely way to go. So RESCO Field Service is a great solution powered by RESCO Cloud Backend and has several ways of integration with the third-party backends and systems as well. But that's not all. In 2022, we want to take RESCO Field Service into the next level and have one of the best-in-class, simple-to-use mobile field service solution on the market. In future releases, we are looking at the mobile payments. We are looking at the bringing support for blended work workforces, including internal and external technicians, bringing more advanced predictive maintenance based on IoT, and continuously improving mobile experience with the introduction of emerging technologies. So just to wrap it up, as Dominic and Johan mentioned in previous presentation, implementing field service solution is not about doing the same mistakes again or replicating the old ways of working and just making them digital. With RESCO field service is bringing a new world of possibilities, how companies can collect the data, can enable their workers and focus on their core business. So, also, they stress out that the user experience is the key to success for any field solution. The software must feed the needs of the managers, dispatchers, clients, or especially technicians. So there, therefore, RESCO field service offer customizable experience for every single role in the company. And as always with RESCO, our biggest strength is the mobility. Technicians liked our inspections before, and with the RESCO field service application, they will love it. So how you can utilize the product, you will learn more on the next slides presented by my colleague, sales director, Giorgio Rossi. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edo, for an overview of our brand new product, RESCO field service. As you learn, RESCO Field Service is RESCO's biggest and most ambitious step so far in the service management direction. We give a field worker a flawless mobile experience and to the manager and dispatcher 
a user-friendly scheduling and monitor power they need. We are unique because with Field Service Resco, you can get what you need and not only what you need, when you need it. Field workers and managers don't have to spend hours learning and customizing the new tool. They will have exactly what they need and nothing more. Like a good restaurant menu with just five choices, not like the 50 pages menu you find in many places. All of these available on the device of their choice, whether a smartphone, a smartwatch, or the latest AR device. What else makes Resco Field Service the primary customer choice? The tool that you all know well that sets us apart from anybody else, the Resco Digital Questionnaire module. It is the best in class for creating time-saving workflows that can replace pen and paper, and that will improve the communication and boost the possibilities of your workers. They will make less errors, and they will instantly share data among each other. After summer, I was talking with the external Austrian agency specialized in the market research. They confirmed that this is our strong suit. Digital mobile forms are the solution of the problem we help solve, and are important part of every one of our opportunities. I cannot forget to mention that all modules containing RESCO field service run in full offline mode still a functionality absolutely needed by industry that executes services from remote location or with a poor internet reception. For example, the offshore wind farm or construction of highways. The small medium enterprise will be the main target focus. Companies that value the balance between power and cost. Companies that need the adaptability and scalability of our solution as their business model grow year over year. You have a new division with different need. Well, Resco Field Service can adapt to your request. We will keep looking at the energy sector, especially the green energy and oil and gas companies to increase our know-how and customer base. Our focus will be also companies from the facility management and property maintenance business. We learned so much this year about their operation and maintenance standard. We will open up new investment and marketing programs with partners that come with idea in sectors where service and field worker represents the core. Resco Field Service is the evolution of Resco inspection, but also the beginning of a journey. I believe this product will be one of the revelation in Resco portfolio, and we are going to invest and focus to create a successful journey. This year, Thanks to our team, we were able to generate more than 500 qualified leads and 82 opportunities. We worked, or we are currently working, on the majority of those opportunities together with our partners. You are the field expert. You know the processes and the problems of the industry the best. We are the master of our own technology and how it can address those problems. Together, we can be disruptive and unlock great business opportunities. Getting acquainted with the Resco product, getting experience and certification will allow you to scale our solution within your expertise sector. Now, let's get practical. If you're familiar with the Resco Cloud and have resources certified already, and you see good potential in your country sector of focus, get in touch with our sales representative. We will involve our product consultant and marketing expert and set up a business plan together. We can agree on business and financial condition to give the stability you need. We want to be the right fit for the right price, covering exactly what you and our client need. In this moment, we have around 200,000 euros in our pipeline. And for a portion of this, we are still searching the implementation partner. We want to touch 1 million euros during next year and reach that target together with you. That's it for our session on Resco Field Service. If you want to know more about new, our new product, I encourage you to visit resco.net, where you can learn about the new feature and explore the new trial experience. And of course, for the most curious, I invite you to visit our new office in Bratislava to discuss about great, our great opportunities we can unlock together. Back to you, Andrew.
Oh, Giorgio, thank you for the great speeches. So let's get to our questions. I think the first one is for you, Edo, and it's whether Resco Field Service is a standalone product or it can be integrated with other systems or backends. Thank you, Andrew, for the question. Um, so basically, the answer is simple. Um, Resco Field Service can run as a standalone product with its own backend, Resco Cloud. But as well, it can be integrated with all the other backends, third-party backends. So we are providing as well the, the integration options. We are providing our proprietary um, API, REST API. We are providing as well the OData web services, uh, Power Automate connector, TIPCO connector. So basically, there are a lot of opportunities and options how you can connect uh, these products to third-party backends. Okay, cool. Thanks, Edo. Uh, next question, clearly for you, Giorgio. It's what factors influence the license cost for Resco Field Service? Thank you, good question. So the license cost, uh, the referral, the reference type of license, it's the ultimate license of our core, core Resco uh, type of license. Uh, on top of that, we have a role definition into, into the Resco Field Service. So we have the technician who will use the standard ultimate license. And then we have manager and dispatcher that will use a super user type of license. And then we have the super user admin license, which has a different uh, type of licensing. The Resco Field Service uh, product uh, comprehend uh, basically majority of the feature that uh, Resco Field Service can unlock. There are a couple uh, of exceptions like the portal or the AR call for which you can ask your sales representative, your account manager for more information to, for the pricing. Okay. Thank you, Georgia. I think the next question is probably for the both of you. Let's start with Edo. It's uh, can Resco Field Service be utilized by small businesses, by enterprises? Kind of who is the ideal client for the product? So basically, Resco Field Service is a really great and scalable solution. It can be utilized by small company, by mid companies, by uh, bigger companies as well. Um, it can be configured in, into any single scenario, what is, what is available and what is needed. And Georgia, I don't know if you have something yet. Yeah, I can add perhaps that it's uh, perfect for the SME segment because it's uh, really balancing uh, the power with the cost. So it get, it gives to the client the possibility of uh, really having a 60-70% ready solution with the minimum cost and add just enough customization to make the solution perfect and personal to each customer. Okay. Thanks, guys. So the next question, I think, for Giorgio is about inspections and what features from inspections carry over into Resco Field Service? Perfect, yeah. The, as I mentioned during my session, inspection is, was the first product uh, that we developed for uh, like merely on Resco Cloud and Resco for Service is the evolution of inspection. Therefore, we carried into the new product the full feature of inspection from the questionnaire designer, the report builder, the dynamics form with all the more than 100 features. All of them are available in the Resco for Service. Mm -hmm. And Edo, um, on the topic of roadmap, uh, what can you tell us about the roadmap for 2022? What can we expect for Resco Field Service? Yes, so as I have mentioned in my presentation that we would like to take Resco Field Service into the next level next year. Uh, we are bringing really powerful tool and re really powerful solution and we would like to more focus on the asset maintenance and operations and basically also to bring some more functionality uh, connected to the IoT and uh, managing the assets uh, through IoT, then uh, Resco is all about, all about the mobility. Uh, that means that we, uh, apart from the backend uh, functionality related to the asset maintenance, we definitely would like to bring one of the best uh, mobile solutions for our field workers. That will mean that uh, we are also playing with some kind of emerging technologies and uh, improving user experience there. So uh, there is, a lot of stuff on the on the roadmap, um, and we will be sharing uh, the roadmap publicly with you on our website really soon. Thank you. Um, final question, I think, for you, Giorgio. It's um, are there any features in the product that aren't available offline? Well, the normally the the product uh, that's coffee service was uh, created as our platform to function offline. So. Majority of all the function 
uh, all, the majority of all the functions are available also in an offline, uh, on offline mode, apart from obviously uh, maps or itinerary that needs uh, like Google Maps or clear online functionality or AR calls. But I will add, ask also Edo if uh, you have something to add to it. Yes, so our solution, Resco Field Service, um, you can build up many projects for any single role in a company. So basically it can be back-end users or back-office users and it can be front-end users as technicians. For those who are sitting at the back office, of course, they do have uh, access through the web, web page, through the web application. They need online uh, functionality or online mode. Uh, but when we are talking to the guys who are on the field, so basically all what they get in our application, it can be utilized offline as well. And they can do the work, they can execute the work order or the service order, the maintenance, the, the, the questionnaire. And basically when they get into the uh, signal and when they have the data, they can just synchronize it really simply and send it to the, to the, to the server. Alrighty, uh, thank you both for your, for your answers and for introducing Resco Field Service to our audience today. And for our audience, we're gonna take a quick five minute break so you can go stretch your legs, get a glass of water, and we'll see you in five minutes. Thank you.